Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I know it's been a quite a bit a while, gotten rid of the project car and stuff like that, so uh, today I'm coming to you with a video, uh, it's probably going to be a lot of time lapse, but I'm going to be replacing the transmission on my car, um, it's the automatic transmission, uh, and it's, when driving normal, it's fine, but I've abused it enough that by now it's uh, slipping quite a bit, so I've actually got a spare transmission uh, sitting right down under there. So I've got, it's got like 90, under 100,000, I think it's like 99,000 miles on it. My car, I believe it's still stock, just very same transmission that was in it when it was new. And so it's got uh, 191,000 miles on it. So yeah, um, a good bit of stuff to take out of here. Um, so with the automatics, uh, yeah, I can easily either fall and take the engine out, which I'm gonna leave the engine in here. I got a engine support, support bar to hold it in place. Um, but so I'm gonna hold the engine in place and, <coughs> excuse me, uh, drop the transmission and transmission and the whole subframe, whole subframe and to, first of all, to be able to get to those bolts that are like right there in the engines, like right there. We have to take off the air intake, uh, air intake manifold, and then I think I should be able to get to the starter, pretty close to the starter. Starter's like right down there. And I can take the starter out, which allows me access to the three converter bolts, which are, if I can ro ro rotate the engine over, the uh, three converter bolts attach the converter to the flywheel. And then I can take this off and of course the bolts from the engine transmission and then it's completely free from there and then drop the subframe um, and have to take off. Probably gonna take apart the knuckle just so I can drop it without doing, dropping all the stuff on the sides. So yeah, <coughs> excuse me. Set you guys up on a, a time lapse and we'll get to it. Hey guys, so um, I don't know if I ever said, but this uh, has kind of gone a different direction. So it is actually several days later now from the last time you would have seen me working on the car. And obviously originally I was just going to just gonna swap out the transmission, but as you can see, it is obviously much, much farther than that. And I'm actually just uh, 
So the plan is to completely rebuild it, and it was actually be down for several months while I, you know, rebuilt it. But I decided to actually put it back together, not completely. So here we've got the engine out, everything. Uh, obviously, even the transmission, that's the front subframe. Um, <clears throat> so at the moment, it's got the full interior, and next is going to be pulling the whole uh, interior out. And so what I'm going to do is pull the whole interior out, and then they just just what I need. So, um, yeah, so I'll be pulling the interior out, probably probably just do the interior tonight. And then uh, they got actually an SS at my local scrapyard. It's actually 2006, so it's not supercharged or turbocharged. It's a 2.4 liter. But being it was originally an SS uh, next year, I think it's called a Sport. Uh, they've got the, um, instead of a 16 inch wheel like this, four lug 16 inch wheel, it's a five lug 17 inch wheel. It has disc brakes in the rear, a um, couple of the good things. So I'm gonna be, uh, maybe this is Friday evening, possibly Monday or Tuesday, go to the junkyard, pull a bunch of that stuff off. But yeah, for the time being, completely getting the interior. Uh, we'll be putting possibly that engine, that is the engine that came out of it. And that's not the transmission that came out of it, but that's a better one. So I'll probably be putting that transmission in and just the wiring and stuff that I need. So, um, yeah, I think probably, um, I'm not sure what I was going to be going back in here, but probably just stuff that I need. Um, not the AC, not even heating, because on the inside, I'll be taking out all, basically the whole carpet, basically everything, um, all the little ducting, all that stuff, and even uh, stuff like a bunch of the stuff around here. Um, so it's not even gonna have a bunch of this console. It's not gonna have any of those controls, so I won't be able to use heating even if I want to. Um, leave the stuff around the steering wheel. I'll leave the doors intact until later when I rebuild it, just so I can control the windows and all that. And it's when it's tucked up at the moment. So um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get started. And so yeah, I'll just start pulling the whole interior out. All right, guys, so um, I'm working on my car again, and so you can see I've got the interior all part i actually had all part put some back together dri driven it for a while now actually taking it back apart because you see these wires all over and stuff like stuff the airbags i'm deleting so we're going through and cleaning stuff up deleting stuff a couple of things i need to figure out make sure um get to work better going to be cutting off the metal part of that right there was two bolts are that's where the airbag would have mounted cutting that off making that all nice and flush uh also this other piece of metal there where the glove box would have been and down there there's a new siding c piece of metal on each side where like the steering wheel's at uh where i think there's some other plastic part of the dash mounted and also on each side there's a piece of metal on each side there which i don't really need so cutting that off um and some of the switches and stuff I might be mounting uh, flush into the like the middle part of the dash here. So, um, and also just running the wires all behind, behind there, and some of this wires, like I said, cleaning up, deleting some of the stuff I'm not using now. And way down the road, um, when I do completely rebuild a car, I'm going to be probably getting a donor car, like a donor SS or something for like a better interior and stuff, which is why I'll be cutting stuff like this off because I'll have another dash, dash to be able to use. So then I don't have to worry about it. Um, also stuff, I'm not sure, some of the wires around the steering wheel here. Hoping to get cruise control working. Um, battery's unplugged, so nothing's working right now. But the light comes on, the light comes on, but it doesn't engage and the light doesn't like come on like on the dash. So to figure out some stuff with that. Um, just trying to think, yeah, just, uh, I'm just gonna have to go through, go through a bunch of the wires, cut a bunch of stuff apart and just delete a bunch of the wires and stuff I'm not gonna be needing, so yeah.
All right, guys, so I have gotten a good bit done, uh, as you uh, hopefully saw in the video. Um, so I've gotten everything, I think basically everything done as far as, you know, the airbag system, all stuff. Everything to do with the airbags, I believe, is completely taken out. There was a sensor over there, uh, and I think that hooked up to the airbag, though it would have been, like, right there. The sensor right there, unhooked that, and there's a couple wires sitting right there, and... I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that next or possibly go take all like the turn to the door and actually wherever it's at. Uh, I think uh, I'm not sure where it's at. Um, there's I think speaker wires and stuff like that if they're still in there. Uh, pull that out because airbags, not gonna be needing that. I'm going to, uh, I think about do, doing a small, just a simple roll cage. I'm probably just gonna do, uh, um, just gonna be like a harness bar and five point harness, so I'm not gonna need airbags to be useless. Um, and then it's not gonna have, don't need radio anyways. And I'd probably, even if it was hooked up, I'd probably you know take that out and put in some sort of like controller or something I'd be needing to put there anyways. So I'm not gonna need that. So I possibly will be turning the doors, but I still need to. Uh, there's a few wires here, and I believe they go up front too. You see. All the way from right there. That's like the front. There's just like one sensor in the front. I think. I'm not sure if I know where the sensor is at anymore. I think it's over here somewhere. I unplugged it, but this is the airbag module. Okay, right here. This whole thing right here. That would. So there's the. Oops. There's a sense that that's the. I'm not sure. Kind of the module, airbag module thing that would have sat. Right in the center cons are would have been right, right about right there. Um but yeah, so I've got all that stuff out. Um and the reason why I'm gonna talk about the, the front part right there, uh, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get to. Um also those bars right there, I believe. I think they go up through there. They should go up through there. And if I can get up here. I think I have to move some stuff here, but it should come right through there. I don't think it sh don't think there's anything here because this is the body control module. And then up through at least on this wiring right here. All the way to right there. So um and I don't think there's anything else up front here I'm gonna need to delete or do anything because everything else is being used. Um so yeah, I think I have to tear turn to this cut this all well actually this is most of this is actually just plastic covering it and there's like a little bit of electrical tape a few places along here so that was the thing with the interior most of that stuff was just electrical tape and so i was cutting electrical tape like the whole time to take the stuff off i mean as you can see there's all the way along that side the little wires going up there and here and all the way up there so a lot of uh bare wires so i'll probably be either taking care of that now or probably later um but yeah i guess i'll get back onto this uh probably figure out the airbag or the, the rest of the wires for the system that goes up front and then probably get on the doors and next probably next will be this part of the dash here um so it's kind of kind of on the side. So that's that's where it'd be right there. Be flat right there. Um and so we cut these side pieces off. Both sides. Um so the passenger airbag would have mounted, it'll take that whole thing off. And this whole glove box piece. And then I believe both both these little side pieces here, because they don't they don't hold anything on. And they're just like Weld right there, so should be pretty easy to take those off. Um, and then I might I'll probably put that back in right away after that because there's nothing I'm gonna need to do with it. So, yeah, guess I'll get back to it. All right, guys, so I have spent quite a bit of time uh, on here now. I didn't actually film it because it's a lot of the same stuff as I already showed on video. Um, so 
I actually spent quite a bit of time going through this stuff. So one of the last things I'd said was there's a wire going through the firewall there from it was up there where the sensor would have been and around here. Had to move a few stuff. It wasn't as hard to do as I thought it was gonna be. Um, but I ended up uh, spent just about as much time as I did before on going through the whole wiring harness. And basically what I did is there was a connector somewhere over here, I think it was, and over there. And I basically just started going through and each wire, I was basically followed it the whole way through and it went to from one thing to the next to the next and i spent probably a couple hours actually just going through and it was from about this side of the car to the other side of the car back through different connectors all over and got everything pulled out everything to the the very last piece i actually pulled out was actually the let's see if I can find the connector here uh, i'm not sure where it's at but is actually the connector for the dash. So I believe that means that I shouldn't have an airbag, air, the airbag, whatever light on the dash because it's not even a connector going to it. Um, so I wish I could find that connector because I actually, oh, right here it is. This one right here. So um, then there are some some of these that weren't ready to have connectors anyways, but yep, totally. Um, every, every connector that I came to, like, uh, this over here. So if you look down in there, there's actually several, uh, pins that was the radiant have anyways, but I completely, I literally did everything. When I got to connector like that, I pulled the pins out. So it's literally everything is just clean. There's no cut wires anywhere. There was one connection in the engine bay that you couldn't, there wasn't a pin to pull out. So it was just, I cut it right, right down as far as I could. You can't even see the wires anymore. So yeah, I think next will be, I think, I'm not sure, some weird stuff in here. I'm not sure. This might be something with the radio or something like that, which still have to take that stuff off part, uh, also the door. And I need to take care of uh, ABS traction control stuff on the outside or in the engine bay. And I might completely delete that as long as it doesn't mess with anything else. Um, so, yeah, I've got a bunch of more stuff to do. And I'll, I think I'll film this stuff. Um, it'll just be on another time lapse. So, yeah, and I still have to get to do some stuff with the all the stuff with steering and... I think because I've got another one from a different cobalt and I think I might take the power string off and strip it right down just to see what it's like. And if it's too bad, then I'm just going to, you know, put it back on. And also the dash, I still have to cut and make that all nice. So, yeah, get to it. Okay, guys, so this is... Future me. No, um, this is uh now probably a month, maybe almost two months later, and a lot has happened. Um, all sorts of stuff with the car, and I know I kind of just chopped it off there, um, but I was gonna explain. Uh, I made some really big mistakes when I basically took all those wires out. So, um, basically the car wouldn't start. So. The couple, a bunch of the wires with like ABS and traction control, uh, the mo ABS module, I wonder if I still have it around here somewhere. Uh, that's the ABS module. I'm not sure if I've got the actual sensor or not. Um, because yeah, on the, on the, at least on this cobalt, it's right up front right there. And it is actually kind of hard to get to, but it plugs in from the other side there and then the wires like go down and around. Um, but... Uh, the problem is there, there's several wires. You can delete the ABS, uh, which I was doing. There's just, you have to be careful with a couple wires. So there's, uh, I believe there's, should be a tan wire and a tan and black wire. And there should be actually two of the, should be two of those uh, going into the sensor. And um, basically what you have to do if you're going to delete that is you basically connect the two tan wires, or just connect them together, uh, and connect the two tan black wires. And because, and the reason you have to do that, 
And actually a lot of modules on the car, if you don't want to delete them on uh, most of the other ones would be kind of hard to delete, um, is because the these different modules like the ABS, PCM, ECU, whatever else it's called, um, trans, TCM, transmission control module, these colored wires and different like the SS and different ones, one different cobalts with different engines and even a couple of different years will have different uh, colors. But this is a 2006 with the 2.2, um, so that that's the color of wires it has. And you, the reason you connect them is so that it doesn't know, there's no break in the wires. It's just a solid, it just keeps going. It doesn't realize the module's been deleted. So you basically connect those wires and the rest of the wires you can just cut off. But my advice would be um, if I had to go back and redo it, and I would, anytime I'm deleting a wire, any wires from the car, is I would make sure the car is either running, which I know it's not always possible, but what I would do is just make sure every time I, you know, I cut a wire or something, make sure the car still functions, it can still start or whatever, as it should, and then if deleting that wire or cutting it, I just cut it first. If that doesn't have any uh, bad effects or nothing wrong with the vehicle, then I'd continue on because I learned the hard way and did completely destroy the wiring harness and I couldn't tell from the video what all wires where I had messed up and I didn't have the wires still in the connectors, you know, I'd depin them. So um, uh, that is gonna be all for that. Um, I think maybe I did a little update a little bit ago, um, but here's the cobalt as it is. And the ne very next actually video, this is, I, I actually think, start, the video started out a little weird and it kind of escalated. Um, so now it's more of a build rather than changing the transmission. Um, but I think this will be part one of actually building the car. And as you can still see, yeah, it's got engine transmission sitting here. It's gonna be coming out of here and there's actually something else going in here as the plan is right now. So, but well, once this car is done, like I've, all, I've always wanted, whatever I do with it, when I get it done, I want it to be better than it was stock and I want to have all the like the all full interior and stuff like that and I'll probably do a better interior maybe even custom interior but I want it to have all the good all the functions and everything once it's done so um next next video will be um getting everything ready for body work and everything and needs some uh the rocker panels replaced on actually both sides this one I hit something and the other side has like a pretty big rust spot um so I think it's local um, auto body shop has taken it to is like I think more than a month out. Um, by now, actually by now when I scheduled, I think by now it's like less a little bit less than a month. So um, quite a bit of stuff I need to take off, and this thing's getting completely stripped down. Um, as you can see, windshield actually I broke the windshield there, but the other part was like a crack coming down across down. It is. Um, it's broken, obviously, so I'm gonna have to uh, take that out, and or I'm not sure it'll come out sometime. And everything's coming off here, all the brake lines, everything, everything is coming out. And this one actually might be going into Cavalier, which is actually sitting right back there. I'm not. I'll say probably say more about that in possibly the next video. It ended up being a project car, and so I'll say more about that later. But um, yeah, all the subframe, everything, and it's probably gonna be going into the other car anyway, so it's not gonna matter. And interior, I'm not doing anything with the uh, doors right now. I'll be taking out the steering wheel, the rest of the um, dash right there, and <clears throat> headlights, uh, rear bumper. I already have the sunroof out. It's sitting right there. Uh, mirrors. Every, everything that can come off, basically, except for the doors and the front suspension and, like, tires will, I guess, have to come off because they're obviously connected to the subframe. And so I guess I'll have to use a jack or floor jack or something to move the car around. And then we're actually pulling in that Cavalier, which I've already got one video that will be coming out a bit later. And I'm trying to think. I'll probably end up working on that. So one more video or two more videos, one more video after this on the Cobalt and then it'll be onto the Cavalier. And then once I get more stuff done on the Cobalt, I'll be getting back to this. 
And it's going to be a full build, like completely stripped down and then all the bunch of body work, a little bit of body work needs to be done, completely repainting it and whole new engine that's coming in here. So I'm actually really excited about that. And then another full build on the Kevlar, which it's not getting completely torn down because um, it is going to get repainted. So, and new engine, probably this engine or at least another one. And I'm going to need to get a donor car for both this Cavalier or this Cobalt and also that Cavalier. So I might be getting another donor car sometime to a bunch of stuff. Like I'll need the dash for this Cobalt because I already met, messed stuff up. And yeah, so a bunch more videos are going to be coming out. Probably get this one done. This is, was it Wednesday, June 9. So that was like before last weekend of April, the last bit of this video was. So sure how long ago that was. Um, but I think I'm going to cut off there now. Um, more videos to come. And yeah, hope you're enjoying it. Bye.